11 bucks to see a movie? Wow. I'm not saying Bruce Harris and Julie and Jim don't deserve 25 mil a picture. I just didn't know it was coming from us. <laughs> Here's the problem. Which gets bigger faster, the movies or the movie tickets? Oh, sure, I was impressed with the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. The bullet thing in the Matrix was cool. Jar Jar, eh. But recreations of the perfect storm or roaming gladiators come with a pretty steep price these days, my friends. 11 bucks! The theater PTBs say it's because they forked out for all these new movie palaces that pop up like kudzu on the urban landscape. State-of-the-art sound, rake seats, curved screens, little tiny fairies that hide under the seats and massage your buttocks while you watch the screen. All that means heavy dosh, my friends, and they're just passing the spendings on to you. Of course, you could say bigger, better theaters are just the price they pay for keeping up with other distractions. I mean, movie attendance is up. At 11 bucks a head, those $30 million opening weekends are easier to get, so the studios are happy. Basically, with this scenario, everyone wins. Except you, of course. I know a guy who knows an usher, no names. Anyways, he says you gotta look a little closer at the ticket prices. Oh, yeah. 11, as in 10 plus 1, as in you can't pay just with paper? Oh, no. See, you lay down your 20. There you go, a bunch of change jangling around in your pocket slowing you down, making you feel heavier, slower. Next thing you know, you're right there by the concession, and what the hell, it's just change, right? Who needs it jangling around in your pocket while you're trying to enjoy the movie and the super special buttock massage? Cost, three cents, and the most expensive thing here is the bag. That's right, my friends, it's bait and switch. Here's where they make the real money, so pony up and chow down. And remember, at least the sticky floors are free. <laughs> <laughs>